Hi guys, I'm Nick here from realestatedad.sg. Thank you so much for your messages. And if any of you out there who wish to ask me any question, do drop me a text at 94508732. I am more happy to help you answer your question. So for today's segment, we have a viewer who just turned 35 this month. Happy birthday! And he is planning to buy his own property. So he is asking for my advice. So congratulations on your birthday. But more importantly, you have made a right choice to start investing. Okay, so if let's say you want to start on property investing, okay, here are four considerations that I have for you. My first consideration would be to start with the end in mind. Since you are only 35 years old and this is your first property, you are bound to move to another property in future. So ask yourself, what is your plan? after five years. My second consideration would be to buy a property that will hold its value. Valuing a property is very subjective from one buyer to another, but a sure way not to make money in the property or lose a lot of money is to buy a property that is too old. Buyers know once the 99 year term is up, the value of the property goes to zero. And secondly, the age of the property restricts the number of buyers from buying the property because of the maximum CPF withdrawal amount. E. Thirdly, is your financial powers. This consists of your monthly income, your cash, your CPF monies, and the type of grant that you are eligible for. The fastest way to check whether you are able to afford a property is by having the 30% upfront of the property price. However, I always recommend my client to have at least six months safe first before they start on their property investment journey. Singles who are planning to buy a resale HDB are eligible to get 80,000 worth of grant. For those who are earning less than $7,000, they can apply for HDB loan so they do not need to pay any cash upfront. The fourth consideration is your timeline. Do you need to stay in the property immediately or do you have an alternative place to stay? PTOs and new launch project owners are usually the one who make the most money once the project is completed. This is because most buyers are more willing to pay for completed projects or resale flats. This is because most of them do not have the ability to wait three years for the project to be constructed. So if let's say you have time, I would highly recommend that you buy a BTO or a new launch project. However, if you need a place to stay immediately, then do take note of the three considerations that I mentioned above. And there are my four considerations. If any of you have any questions, do feel free to drop me a text at 94508732